This is Yash Gajar here with you guys today with the first bonus of chapter one in my book, Success Secrets for Teens. Before we go any further, congratulations on moving forward in this book and congratulations for taking the first step and actually going to this website and unlocking these free gifts that I've given for you. Now, if you haven't read the book, chapter one yet, I'd recommend you first go read chapter one. If you have, perfect. Now in chapter one, we learn about what we tell ourselves, the common phrases we use with ourselves, the common you know, language we use with others and the way we train our mind throughout our life. And I wanna make a really important point here that what you tell yourself makes a huge difference in what you're gonna be. Now, you're gonna read in the other chapters ahead, but for those of you who don't know, I had started a business for slime. And a bit about that is for two months, I had no sales. I was around $500 in debt. I'd spent $500 trying to make slime and I failed every time. And I was at that point where I was trying to sell it online, right? I had, I had an Etsy store and Etsy is a handmade website. I was continuously trying to sell it. And for two months, I made no money. Every day I came back from school, invested two hours in trying to see what was wrong, why I wasn't making money. And in that moment, that's why I wrote about this chapter because it made such a crucial difference in my life. Because what I told myself was very important. I could have easily given up in those two months and nobody would have cared. My parents wouldn't, they would have been maybe a bit upset that, you know, oh, there was so much money, you wasted your time. But nobody else would care. And let me tell you, if you don't know this either, as a direct result of Slime, I was able to make $16,000, become an international bestseller, and complete over 1,400 orders. I sold 1,400 units. So what we tell ourselves makes a big impact on who you're going to be, how you're going to succeed. So trust me when I say this, there's enough negativity in the world already, okay? You're looking at the big names, Beyonce, Lionel Messi, LeBron James, whoever you view as your star, whoever, you know, is successful in your mindset that a lot of people think successful, trust me, they've had a lot of negativity. They've gone through a lot of crap to go to where they want to be. They've gone through failure and failure and failure. And trust me, if they would have been negative with themselves, if LeBron James would have said, oh, I didn't make the team in my, in elementary school. I didn't make the team in middle school. Oh, I wasn't able to, you know, get selected. I'm just going to quit right here. He would not be one of the most successful basketball players out there. If Lionel Messi had said, oh, I'm too short to play soccer. Everybody tells me that I can't do it. He would not be the, one of the highest paid soccer players alive. What they, they didn't tell themselves, I can't do it. They told themselves I could do it. They worked hard, they trained hard and they achieved their goals. There's enough negativity and people who want to bring you down in life in this world. And that's the truth fact I'm telling you right now. I had a lot of people at school. I had made over a thousand orders and that people found out about it just because, you know, I was getting interviewed for my yearbook and all. And trust me, there was so much negativity then too. People, some people at school said, oh, you probably made 1400 accounts and bought your own, bought your own product. They saw the result. I had sold over a thousand units. I'd sold over a thousand packages, but there's still negativity. There is enough negativity to bring you down. And if you want it, it will bring you down. Stop being negative with yourself. What you tell yourself makes a difference. When you wake up in the morning, you tell yourself today is going to be a bad day. You look at it. It's going to be a bad day. You need to be positive with yourself because you're the only person you're the only person who believes in yourself. You're the only person who will ever believe in yourself more than anybody else out there. So what you tell yourself does make a difference in your life. It does change who you are. It does change your psychology. And it does change how your brain communicates, how your brain moves, how your brain acts around people. Because when you go in with that mindset that I'm going to flunk this test, I'm going to have a bad day, I'm not going to eat, you know, whatever it is, you are preparing for failure. You're telling yourself, I'm going to flunk this test. There's no way I haven't studied. There's no way. And I'm not saying that, you know, if you don't study and you go in with that mindset, you're going to ace a test, you're going to ace it. No, but stop going in with a mindset of failure. If you have a wrestling match, you're doing something, stop going in that mindset that, oh, that guy looks so buff. I can't win. 
what you tell yourself makes a difference. And it's high time all of you start listening to yourself and stop all the negativity comments. I'll stop all the negative comments, negative thoughts that come in your mind because it does impact you. And there are thousands of examples out there. LeBron James said, I read one of his books and in the book he said he didn't make his high school or middle school basketball team. LeBron James, a millionaire, one of the best basketball players. I, any of you basketball fans out there, you know who LeBron James is. Even if you don't watch basketball, you know who LeBron James is. And he did not make the team. You think he gave up? He could have easily told himself, and I bet he did. He may have told himself, you know, oh, I feel so bad, I can't do this, but did he give up? No. And when he was working hard, did he say, oh, I can't do this, if I can't even make my school team, how am I gonna make the big leagues? No, he moved forward. So it's time for you to start doing that. I want you to now write down the common phrases you use in your life. You know, I hate this. Oh, I can't do this. Um, he looks too strong. Whatever it is, I'm going to flunk this. Whatever it is, I want you to write down the common phrases you use on a daily basis. And I want you to figure out a way to get those out. I mean, not figure it out. Just get them out of your system. Write them down. Know what they are and become self-conscious. In the next two weeks, I want you to be really self-conscious. Whenever you say it, make sure you remember it. And trust me, this will impact your life. Because if you make sure you keep on remembering, oh, I said it now. Okay, take control of it. Before you say it, remember to think. And while you're, if you're saying it, stop yourself and change it. I don't care if you're talking to your friends or you're talking to a teacher. If you say one of those phrases, stop yourself and start a new sentence. And if you do this for two weeks, I can guarantee you it will change a part of you. So... This was the end for chapter one's bonuses. Remember to read the rest of the book and go through all the other bonuses in order. And this will be a game changer for you.